If you're unable to find an installer for Cheat Engine 7.3, then the source code for it can be assembled. In this video, the Lazarus IDE was used to build the source files into the Cheat Engine 7.3 application. Please note that this video does not explore all possible issues that may occur with the installation and assembly process. Instead, I focused on the steps necessary for acquiring Cheat Engine 7.3 on a 64-bit Windows 10 computer. Now, due to Cheat Engine's ability to edit memory data, which is what occurs anytime a cheat script is used for a video game, most antivirus software will flag or prohibit its installation. However, Cheat Engine on its own is not a virus, but if you install it from websites other than the ones that I show, then you may get a virus. All website links from this video, the video chapters, and other resources are available in the video description. To begin, if you have a 64-bit Windows operating system, then navigate to this link to install the 64-bit version of Lazarus. Next, download the installer here. As a side note, there are additional versions of Lazarus for other operating systems that can be found in the Files tab above. Once the installer is downloaded, double-click on it to begin the installation process and select Yes when Windows prompts you to allow changes. When selecting an installation destination, the build instructions recommend a path that you have full access to, which usually means creating its own folder without nesting it inside of other folders, especially your program files folders. For my installation, I chose a drive other than my operating system C drive, but you can leave it at the default C drive destination, especially if that's the only drive you have. For the components, since my only need with Lazarus is to build the Qi Engine app, I unchecked the help files, and I also unchecked the option to globally install the libraries because some users may experience errors with that option. This installation took about 3 minutes for me, and it may take more or less time depending on your system. I sped this and other parts of the video up for brevity. Once Lazarus has been installed, navigate back to Cheat Engine's GitHub page and click on the latest version link to download the source code for Cheat Engine 7.3. If the zip file download link doesn't work, or the downloaded zip file can't be extracted by Windows, then you can download the tar file alternative, you'll just need a program that can extract tar files. Be sure to also wait until the file has completely downloaded to extract it. When the circle around the file begins to flash, that's a good way to know that it's ready for extraction. The extraction and file locations that I chose henceforth are simply my preferences for organization, so feel free to choose where you want yours. Once it's ready, right-click on the zip file and select Extract All to unpack the necessary files. After the files have been unpacked, open Lazarus. This configuration message will not appear if you've downloaded Lazarus for the first time, but since I uninstalled it in order to show the installation process, I needed to update the information. This should be the window that you see when opening Lazarus for the first time. Click on Start IDE to open the work environment.
From here, navigate up to the project menu and select Open Project. Then, navigate to where the Qi Engine zip file was unpacked and find the Qi Engine LPI file, which should already be recognized by Lazarus as a Lazarus project information file. This is the file that contains the compiler settings required to build the Qi Engine application. If you get this error message, then navigate to the Change Build Mode option in the upper left corner and select the Release 64-bit option since this process is for a 64-bit operating system. Then, go to the Run menu and select Build to build the source code into the finished product. This process may take a bit of time as well, depending on your system. Furthermore, while there are warning messages throughout the building process, I've yet to encounter issues with Cheat Engine's performance thus far. But as always, keep an eye on the GitHub page for updates when necessary. After the build is complete with a success message highlighted in green, navigate back to the Cheat Engine folder, and open the bin folder to find the Qi Engine x86 underscore 64 executable file. This is the Qi Engine 7.3 application that we just built. I also recommend deleting the debug file since it's unnecessary once the build has completed successfully. Now, I'm unsure if all of the files within the bin folder are necessary to utilize all of Cheat Engine's features, but since previous installers have included these files, I created a folder for all of them. It may be that most users only need to keep the executable file itself. Neither Windows Security nor Malwarebytes issued a flag during this installation process, but I went ahead and ran a scan just to see if anything came up. Now, this file has been detected in past versions of Cheat Engine and is likely negligible since it's only classified as a potentially unwanted program, but since its removal doesn't impact Cheat Engine, I removed it. By now, you're ready to start using Cheat Engine 7.3. You can open it one of two ways. The first is to go back to its executable file and open it directly, and the second is by using a cheat table file with a CT extension to open it. If you open Cheat Engine by clicking on a cheat table, then whatever scripts are contained within that cheat table should display in the main body. Now, if a CT files icon didn't update to the Cheat Engine logo after Cheat Engine was assembled, then you need to manually link CT files to Qi Engine. To do this, go to a CT file and right click on it to select the Open With option, and from here, select Choose Another App. Before you look for another app, click on this box so that you don't need to repeat this process for other cheat tables. Then, navigate to the location of the Qi Engine executable and open it to complete the link. Since my system already linked CT files to Qi Engine, I didn't need to do it here. And this wraps up the process for using Lazarus to assemble the Qi Engine app. It goes without saying that you shouldn't be using this app maliciously, unethically, and any other negative synonyms you can think of. As a final note, be sure to check the video description and pinned comment for additional information before submitting a question in the comments. If you encounter unique issues that weren't mentioned in this video, then it may not have a simple solution, or it could also be a case of bad luck, and sometimes a possible need to replace your system entirely. Of course, if I or another viewer have a solution, then we'll share it.